Hello, happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, today's scripture is a little bit difficult uh, to understand. Um, it's all about, though, uh, grace, I think. And, and I've spent a lot of time in my preaching in the last couple of months uh, talking about the different types of grace, provenient grace, justifying grace, and sanctifying grace, and, and kind of comparing that to a pool of water and that provenient grace is up on the beach and, and justifying grace is taking the first steps into the water and sanctifying grace is swimming in the water and that we need to go swimming in the water. And well, this uh, section, it talks about being far away from God and being separated for God and then talking about reconciling ourselves ourselves with God and then when we reconciling ourselves with God that we um, um, become uh, holy and blameless as we stand before God and in verse 21 it says this includes you who were once far away from God you were his enemies separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions yet now he has reconciled you to him through the death of Christ in his physical body as a result, he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. So that's a lot. I mean, because we all know that we um, are, we do have faults. So um, this is, this is a, so it's a difficult piece to understand. So when we talk about justifying grace, when we accept Jesus into our lives, we are reconciled. Um, and we uh, we buy into this whole Jesus thing, and and when we do that, we have the opportunity to to uh, to kind of um, each day participate in resurrection, and so uh, we can die to our sins, and and just as Jesus died on the cross, and. Uh, we die to our sins and we rise up as new creations and we can rise up holy and blameless and we can grow closer to Jesus through sanctifying grace as we glow, grow in our relationship with God and we uh, move on towards perfection as we grow closer to Jesus. Now, it's re so all that stuff that I said really kind of difficult to kind of wrap our heads around. So two things. Uh, in the fall, I'm going to be teaching a class on what Methodists believe. So I'm going to be teaching a little bit more about grace and about holiness. And so I hope that you sign up for that class. It's I don't know what it's going to be called yet. I want to call it Wesleyan theology, but theology is kind of a scary word. So I don't want to call it that, but it's going to be the class taught by me on Methodist theology. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet though, but I also want you to click on the link that's underneath this video. It's a Bible project link and it's a, a link about link about holiness and it's another video, but it's a fantastic video that explains how we become holy um, and it talks about how Jesus is holy and how we become holy as well and it explains it far better than I just did and so please click on that link and then think about what is said in that link because like I said they explain it far better than I just did um, and so I hope you enjoy the next video and that it helps you understand the scripture a little bit better and I look forward to seeing you next time bye bye